Hello everyone and welcome to CGI Made Simple. In this video I will show you my workflow to create glossiness, reflection, ambient occlusion and normal maps out of diffuse texture with the help of Photoshop. These maps are used to control and enhance the appearance and realism of your 3D model by adding details such as shininess, reflections, bumps and so on. This is a very useful technique for creating photorealistic materials and textures for your 3D projects. I will also show you how to combine all those maps uh, into a material inside 3ds Max to, re to achieve this nice looking realistic material. So the first step will be to open your diffuse texture in Photoshop. This is the base color map that defines the color and the pattern of your model. You can use any image you like, in this case I'll be using this brick texture. So to create a glossiness map you need to make the image grayscale and adjust its brightness and contrast. The glossiness map will control how shiny or dull your model is. The darker the pixels, the less glossy the model is and vice versa. So to do this you can use the shortcut Ctrl Shift and U to desaturate or go to Image Adjustments and Desaturate. Uh, now we go to uh, Image Adjustments and Brightness and Contrast and to make the uh, glossiness map so uh, the bricks are not so reflective so more glossy so we'll make the brightness like something like 35 but I will reduce the contrast as I don't want so much contrast in this image. Now we can save us the image as and write it like glossiness map. and press save. Now to make the reflection map uh, so the bricks are not so reflective uh, and the reflection maps uh, control the reflectiveness uh, how reflective or made your model is and as the bricks are not so reflective uh, they should be uh, a lot darker so I'll make the brightness something like minus 100 and I up a bit the contrast and something like this looks fine for my uh, bricks let's save it and I'll rename this one as reflection so now in order to make the bump map, I will go back some steps in the history to the original image and I will go to selection and color range. I will sample the pixels here which uh, are the mortar, something like this and adjust the fuzziness to select all of the border, something like this. I will expand a bit the selection with one pixel so that everything is selected and now I will create uh, a new layer and I will fill it with pure black color. I will switch here the colors and with control backspace I will fill the selection with black. Now I'll make a new layer and the same way I will fill it with white color. And this will serve as my uh, bump map. So I'll flatten the image and I will save it. And then this can serve as ambient occlusion and bump map as well. And out, out of the bump map we will create the normal map. We need to apply a filter that creates the normal map from the image 
and this is how uh, we'll control the white and how the white will interact with the surface of the model. So let's go to filter, 3D and generate normal map. Okay, and now this opens this menu where we can uh, generate our normal map. So the blur we will set to 0 0.5 and we can adjust the detail scale as we like. So we will achieve the result, uh, how detailed this normal map will be and uh, uh, how blurry the edges of the displacement, so to say, uh, will be. So drag the slider to check out the, the difference between the each uh, uh, percentage for this case I will leave it at something like 30 percent uh, make all the the percentages here to 100 this will make it uh, a lot more detailed this controls the contrast of the image okay so this will be my settings here don't you can uh, check the invert height if you will be using uh, the opposite way of displacement uh, depending on the direction you want your displacement to work okay so press ok and now this is the normal map let's save it and voila this is it we have created four maps from your diffuse texture the glossiness reflection bump and normal these maps will make your 3d models look uh, a lot more realistic and detailed and you can use them in any 3d software that import supports them like 3ds max maya blender unity unreal and so on you can also modify them as you wish and adjust the settings and variations of the maps. Okay, let me show you how you can use those textures in a material in 3ds Max, for example. And let's create this brick material for the walls here. So let's select this bow and let's make a V-Ray material. Let's choose V-Ray material and now let's load the maps in their swaths, so the diffuse texture. Let's add a bit so we can choose our brick diffuse. Uh, what we can do is uh, create a composite map instead of just adding the bitmap simply in the diffuse map so create a composite instead let's paste it here let's add a new layer and for now I'll copy just this one to have the path and let's load here instead of this the bump map scale and I'll set the upper one to multiply this way it will serve more like the ambient occlusion let's reduce it to something like 30% You can adjust it as per your liking. Okay, this will be the diffuse. Now let's add here the reflection map. And 
let's add here the coziness map here into the bump map we'll use uh, a V-Ray normal map and here we'll set the normal map so let's choose the normal map it's very important here to tick the override and to set it to 1 otherwise it will be uh, not working correctly ok and here in the bump slot we'll place the bump map we can here adjust those uh, values according to our liking so uh, one or the other can have uh, a higher impact on the overall uh, bumpiness of the image and here the value I'll set it to 100 ok so let's apply it here and see how it looks let's render and check it out uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something new if you did please like share and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks like this one you can also follow us on instagram and our patreon for updates and sneak peeks of our upcoming projects thanks guys if you did enjoy anything in this video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.